Hello students, so this is again one more video I am going to upload here from unit 1 to last unit that is unit number uh, 12. Here all are very very important questions, so you must read all these questions. Okay. So, one by one you see unit number one nature and significance of management here are three questions given okay all these three are very important questions then you need two principle of management here again three questions given and especially question number three list out fuel 14 general principle of management uh, from this question number three fuel 14 general principles of management one question hundred percent will come so you must read then unit number three business environment here are three questions given okay so you read then <clears throat> unit number four planning here are four questions given okay so you read then unit number five organizing here are six questions given and from this unit one question will come for eight marks you remember students from unit number five organizing okay so here are total six questions given then unit number six staffing here again five questions given okay all these questions you must read and then unit number seven that is <coughs> uh, directing here three questions given so all this read okay then unit number eight <coughs> controlling here again three questions given then unit number nine business finance students here four questions given but question number three is most important question from this unit number nine okay so you remember this is very very important question and especially uh, the question number three third part that is the discuss five determinants of working capital requirements very very important questions okay you must read okay then come to unit number 10 financial markets so here again uh, the four questions given so all this question you must read okay then unit number 11 marketing here four questions given okay so you read then the last unit consumer protection act 1986 unit number 12 question number one and question number two out of uh, uh, question number one or either or question number two one one will come so you must read and then question number three the question number one explain the importance of consumer protection act from the point of view of consumer remember and second question is same but explain the need and importance for consumer protection act 1986 from the point of view of business first question is point of view of consumer second one is point of view of business then question number three who can file a complaint under the consumer protection act 1986 and under what circumstances and uh, what are the features of a complaint so these are the questions very very important questions of business studies okay so thank you for watching this video